Hi everybody, I'm back from seeing Alfie. Um, he's got over that chest infection, the recurrent one, quite nicely. So he's doing really well today. Um, and the carer he has today is one he has regularly. And she's absolutely brilliant girl. Um, and the lady he had yesterday, Marie, credit where credit's due, again, brilliant. So I'm home now and um, I want to make a video later and give you some um, input over what I've been watching on um, YouTube. Not YouTube, what am I talking about? Netflix recently. Um, I actually stayed up until after two o'clock this morning watching something because I just had to see it through to the end. It was so brilliant. So I'm going to come on later and give a couple of recommendations because if you're anything like me, um, you can be going through Netflix or whatever and wondering what to watch and before you know it, an hour's passed by and you're none the wiser. So um, if I watch something and it's brilliant and I want to watch it again, if it makes me laugh, if it touches me, if it makes me cry, you can be guaranteed that um, it's pretty good. Anyway, right now, you saw my shop yesterday, some of you did. So look at these, the bananas. Put a size on them. Come out. Massive things. So I'm going to chop some of these up and put them in the freezer because I use them uh, in Alfie smoothies. And the other thing I bought in my shop yesterday was a big box full of wonky veg. And what it is, it's what it says on the box, wonky veg. It's uh, wonky carrots. They're not, you know, all perfectly shaken, but they're ones that are all chopped up and diced. Wonky parsnips. Wonky spuds. Um, not all the same size, some are big, some are small. Wonky onions, funny shape onions. Um, wonky celery. Wonky cabbage. <laughs> so all this is going to go in to the, well, it's going to go in two separate lots, maybe three, um, into the slow cooker to make nourishing soup this week. Oh, what else can I get? Oh, yeah. And a wonky swede. Now this, Swede, I love them. My mother used to be the most amazing cook and um, she would make Swede, not as you'd get it in school or diced up, and, but she would make it, she would mash it with uh, salt, pepper and some butter. She always used to use anchor butter, but I don't, um, use that but um she used to use that and mash it all up and it's beautiful and the other thing i got was for my baking is stalk um you can't you can't um beat this for pastry and for baking the stalk so my fridge, I'm not going to move the camera, but the fridge is absolutely jam-packed full. I bought some um, of this for Alfie, the cultured milk drinks, the key for that strawberry, I think, yeah, strawberry and the original. Now, I'm going to start making this myself. You can buy a starter kit for, a, I don't know, 20 quid or so, maybe a bit more, um, which gets the grains. And once you've got the grains, if you um, use them properly 
and you soak them, they multiply like anything and they will last you a lifetime and you can make these cultured drinks yourself for a fraction of the cost. So Alfie, I've discovered, really likes them. So he's going to be having those regularly. And um, I'm going to be uh, getting the grains and making my own. And the other one I've got is um, to use is some silken tofu. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be using this for, actually. Um, but when I do decide on what I'm going to be doing, I will show you, upload a video and show you what, what you can do. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, um, you know, you can make a diverse amount of dishes with tofu. Um, and of course, Alfie's, I'm, I'm, my fridge is absolutely jam-packed to the gills. So I'm going to cut some of these up now. And so I'm not lonely. I'm going to be talking to you while I do it. I'll do four. Four of them, I think. What I do, peel them, put some parchment on there or kitchen roll, I mean it's kitchen roll. On there and peel these. And what I do, I'll just show you briefly, you don't want to see me doing them all because it's going to be a bit of a boring video if I do that. And I realise I'm cutting the top of my head off while I'm talking to you, but never mind. So, sunny today, but it's so cold and the weather forecast is for pretty bad weather over the next few days. Tomorrow, I probably won't go to see Alf. I'll probably spend the day in my kitchen cooking and um, get some of that stew done. We add some lentils and stuff and cook that. I usually cook it, as you know, if you watch my videos, I will put it on and I'll cook it overnight and then I'll take some for Alfie and the following day and have some myself for lunch or for dinner and I'll put some in my, in the it is. When I blended it, and um, it's I don't eat it blended. Alfie does; he has his puree. So I'll put some in those um, with the lids on and stick them in my freezer. They're triple, triple layer dose cups. So what I do with bananas? Chop them all up. getting on your nerves. At least I'm using a chopping board eh? um, I want to get some cakes and I want to be um, a domestic goddess this weekend I've decided. Taking my library book back because I don't think they'd be only pleased about me being new it again for the third time. So what I do Chop them up, little slices, and then put them on here. As I say, I'm not going to do them all. I'll just be dragging the video out and getting on everybody's nerves because you'll be bored watching it. Um, so I put them on there, fill the whole tray up, and then the tray goes in the freezer. 
and once they're frozen take them out and put them in uh, zippable food bags and so that way I've always got see bananas for Alfie's um, smoothies that I do these two um, and of course I've got all the different powdered fruits and food supplements etc etc to build him up and funnily enough one of the carers did say to me this morning you know you really or to make sure that you're also giving yourself what you bring in for Alfie because it's very good for you. And um, she said, I bet you don't, do you? And you know what? I don't. I do all this for Alf. And um, not because I'm a martyr, I don't do it for myself. I just don't do it for myself. I just, um, whatever I have done in life, whether it be learning to drive, or um, cleaning the house or anything. I've always gone at 100 miles an hour. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, and, and that's how I am. So I'll come back and I'll cook myself something to eat, but I don't bother with all the niceties and all the vitamins and all the what have you. So there we go. I've got four or five bananas all sliced up on there they'll go in the freezer and um, I'll make myself a smoothie this afternoon one of the ordinary ones um, and sit down and watch some Netflix and as I say I want to come back on later and tell you um, what I was watching last night because um, it was absolutely brilliant so I'm going to give you a few ideas of what to watch so that if as I say you are anything like me and you're scrambling for something to to watch when you've had a hard day, a long day, or it's miserable and cloudy and you just want to relax. You don't want to be flicking through the channels all the time and trying to find something decent. So I'm going to come on and give you a few decent things, exceptional things, that I will eat my hat if you don't like them. Back later. <laughs> 